another form of a recovery tool we have, and obviously we've been very lucky over the last couple of years to have this uh, resource available to us. And one of the only NCAA programs, not many other NFL teams have this, but this is actually a product the ARC in terms of trainer, in terms of light bed, photobot modulation. What this is trying to get down to the cellular level. Basically, we're trying to get down to my, mitochondrial level, trying to increase power in your naturally in your uh, your cellular level, but also we're helping cut down free radicals and hopefully helps cut down inflammation. So a lot of our guys find a good reduction of soreness. They they increase the recovery speed in terms of a little bit faster from practice, from heavier lifting sessions, but also some guys that are coming back from injury, it helps kind of speed up the recovery process. Basing on this, we're trying to maximize performance. So everything we're talking about in terms of cryo, the light bed, boots, and we're talking about the float tank, we're trying to maximize performance on a daily basis. Another item we have in terms of resource recovery is a saltwater float tank. Basing on this, we're trying to get athletes recovered at the fullest opportunity. Now a lot of this space is about 600 pounds of Epsom salt in here. Athletes will come in and float anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, trying to get a sens sensory deprivation. A lot of times athletes have a tough time detaching from the phone, detaching from stress, everyday life. So the biggest thing, we're trying to get their sensory nervous system, their readiness back. A lot of guys are maybe becoming sick or close to being sick, or guys are kind of just kind of overwhelmed by the season, by stress, by academics, or other things, we're trying to put them back in balance. Again, some of our athletes use our compression boots as a recovery tool. It helps systematically kind of flush blood in and out in terms of their chambers, in terms of it will compress, relax, compress. Helps get a lot of the lactic waste out of the, of the blood system and it kind of help rejuvenate and get their legs back a little bit faster. Hyperice bonds, we have the hyperice in terms of belts. The biggest thing we're trying to make athletes prepared, feeling good, going into the game, going into practice. The biggest thing we're trying to offer things that are very, very relevant to our athletes, very relevant to help them get better. Halo Sport headphones, these are things that are going to help your or motor cortex and actually neuroplasticity. The biggest thing with this, we're trying to increase focus. Like example, Will Gray last year went for a warm up during game, during practice. It helps with focus and attention. Another thing we offer, we kind of monitor is sleep. We do a fatigue science. Think about this, we have about 75 of our, of our athletes wearing these, monitoring what they do sleep. Basically, thing, we're trying to maximize sleep. We're not trying to make sure they're going to bed at a certain time, we're making sure they're maximizing their hours of sleep. Next thing we do, Omega Wave. This is, is a good measurement to get the HRV, but also with heart rate variability, but they see other central nervous system. This way we can find out how they're doing with travel, how they're doing with practice, how they're doing with games. Obviously, if we're in a situation where a lot of guys are in green, in terms of ready state, then we're in the right direction. Guys in a lot in red, that means we may be run down. It could be an issue of just stressed out. It could be an issue of in terms of guys not taking care of the body well, and we'll try to be interactive with that, trying to maximize them individually. So again, if they stay healthy, number one. Number two, their performance increases, but also as our team, we're hopefully with the best product on the field every Saturday.